Here, I will show you how to find the domain for this function. We have square root of 1 plus 1 over x. First thing first, we have a square root of something inside, right? So we will have to keep in mind, whenever we have square root of something inside, we have to make sure that the inside is non-negative. In another word, it has to be greater than or equal to 0. And the second thing I want to worry about is, because we have 1 over x, here we have a fraction. And whenever we have a fraction, we will have to make sure the bottom is not equal to 0. So there are two conditions that we have to worry about. Right here, let's begin with the first one. We have to make sure that the inside, which is 1 plus 1 over x, is greater than or equal to 0. That's from the first condition here. And the second condition is that we have to make sure the x on the bottom is not equal to 0. So let's write down the bottom x cannot be equal to 0. And now we just have to work out these two inequalities, and then that will give us the domain. Because that way we can say the, the domain. All right, then domain. OK, to do that, right here, let's just combine the fractions. Here, let me just get x and x here. So altogether, we get x plus 1 over x. And that's greater than or equal to 0. And for this inequality, because it's a rational inequality, we have to do it carefully. And the safer way to do it is, let's find out the numbers that we care. What do I mean by that? Whenever we have one side equal to zero, let's see how we can make the top equal to zero. If you want to make the top equal to zero, well, x has to be negative one. So that's a number that we care. And also, we look at the bottom and see how we can make it equal to zero. Well, x equal to zero there. Therefore, we care about these two numbers. And let's just go ahead and do the number line test. Here is negative 1, and here it's equal to 0. And because we have inequalities, the negative 1 will make the top equal to 0, and the bottom is going to be negative 1. It's equal to 0, that's OK. So for negative 1, we will have to include the number. But for 0, because that's on the bottom. And right here, we also say that x cannot be equal to 0. So make sure we have an open circle. Now, we have to just make sure which interval will give us positive result. And to do so, we can just pick a number that's less than negative 1. And let's say we use negative 2. And if you put it here, we get negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2. The top is negative 1. The bottom is negative 2. All in all, we do get a positive result. So we will take this interval in a second. And let's pick a number between this and that. Let's say negative 0 0.5. And we just plug in negative 0 0.5 plus 1 over negative 0 0.5. Well, the top is going to be positive 0 0.5. The bottom is negative 0 0.5. So this right here is going to be a negative result. So that's not what we want. And then right here at the end, let's pick a number bigger than 0. Let's say 1. And then put it here so we get 1 plus 1 over 1, which, of course, that will be positive. So the interval that we want is this right here, the positive versions, and also the positive version. Right? And to write the domain, you can use interval notation or inequalities. Let's just use interval notation. So we go from negative infinity to negative 1. Let me just put it here like this. For negative infinity, make sure you use open parentheses like this. And then up to negative 1. And for negative 1, we are including that. So make sure we use a square bracket. And we have another piece. So we put down union. And the other piece, we do not include the 0. So open parentheses, 0 all the way to the right. So that will give us infinity here. And there we have it. This is the domain of that function.